Welcome to another live. <clears throat> okay, we're going to use Doris's recipe. The first one she sent me, which is Lisa Robertson's um, Mother's Vegetarian Loaf. Um, if you don't know about her, I didn't know about her until Doris wrote on a little note card that she's a hostess on QVC and this is her mother's recipe. They're in, part of her family's vegan and vegetarians. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to come over here in my Tupperware Power Chef Chopper. We're going to blitz our Special K cereal. This is what we're using to bond. That's what the recipe says. And you need to have it finely ground. And you need a cup. Or more. Um, Doris said she puts more than what the recipe calls for because it needs it. So I guess it depends on your preference. So we're going to blitz this. Okay. Extra fine, small. Let me get my cup in there. I thought I already had my cup out. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take Okay, and this makes a bowl. First, I have got 23 ounces of cottage cheese. <clears throat> small cur Small curd um, large curd, it doesn't really matter, but my container is 24 ounces, so the cook gets the eight ounce of the cream of uh, the cottage cheese. I'm gonna put a cup <coughs> of the round special K, and we might need a little bit more, and I might have to dump that out. Let me dump that out so because I need my choppers to be do our onion. Okay. Any questions yet? No. Okay. Okay. We're just gonna take a sweet onion. This is what I have. You could do a sweet yellow. Sweet, yellow, or white onion, or red. It's, I don't guess it depends. So we're going to put that in there. We need one onion, finely, finely chopped. Okay. It's good to me. chat wasn't open, Sarah, and I don't know why. So we're going back now and put for some questions. Okay. So now we're going to put our chopped onion in. One chopped onion. And I say if you just search what the title that I have this video is, that's the name of the recipe, and... You can probably follow it. Find it on the internet. Vegetarian dessert. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Now we're going to need... I don't know if it's... I love... Co That's not really... I don't know. What I eat a lot of dessert is... Um, the vegetarian jello mixed with cottage cheese. I know that's weird, but I grew up on it. Two packages of George Washington Ranch Brown, Brown Seasoning and Broth. And it is meat free. It'll tell you on the pack. These are vegetarian vegan. It, uh, she specifically wrote on the recipe, don't substitute for any other kind. 
She sent me these because I couldn't get these in my area. But, uh, yeah. You could probably get them online if you can't get them in your area. And one of the golden seasoning broth. Meat free. <clears throat> Make it that a little quick mix for a minute. Okay, now we need five eggs. I know that's a lot of eggs, but that's what we're going by the recipe. Hey, Smudges, and hey to your sister, too. My favorite vegetarian dish is actually a um, Vietnamese soup that Sarah makes with tofu. Okay, there's her five. Let me give you a kitchen hell. Get all this egg off my hands and wipe up my mess. Cause this will be this time we're going in the hamper as soon as I get done. We used to love going to uh, the Canaan Valley Ski Resort on vacation. Let's see here. Cottage cheese. And it says you can add a half a cup of very fine chopped pecans if you want to. But leave, it, leave out if you have problem with nuts. I'm going to leave that out because I have diverticulitis issues. So I can't have no nuts or seeds. We got our onion broth. And... A half a cup of melted butter goes in. Okay. Okay, now we've got all our ingredients. I'm going to start the coupon, and I might have to add a little bit more special K crumbs. Because Doris gave me a tip that she uses more special K crumbs than what the recipe calls for, for bonding. She said she likes it better that way really loose and that, and your package should your broth packets that you use has your seasonings and stuff so salt and pepper so it doesn't say to add anything like that someone wants to know if you're trying this recipe for the first time live yes this is the first time live i'm going to add another cup in this is the first time we've ever tried self. making this and we're making it live so we'll see how it turns okay. out okay together okay I think I'm just going to use all that I use. So, a cup to two cups of finely chopped special case cereal. Okay, I think that looks good. That's not too watery now. Now, I'm going to go get me a casserole dish. The reason I didn't have that already out is I wasn't sure how much mixture this was going to make. They want to know where you got the chopper. It's Tupperware. Power Chef, and I sell it. And down in the link, after the video attaches to the channel after the live, you can find the link to my Tupperware website. <clears throat> Small casserole dish. We're going to spray it. She said to spray it real good. So it won't stick. Okay. Just regular cooking spray, or you can do butter in here on your fingers and just smear it in. All right, here goes all the mixture. Do you want to know how long you've been serving Tupperware? Um, I started in the spring of 2018. Really, what I signed up is to get my own discounts because I love Tupperware. So, okay, a 
Let's spread this out. Kind of evenly. In order to purchase jewelry, click the link to Sarah's Paparazzi page yeah. at the bottom of the description. Yeah. Well, in the bottom after, in the description, not after, at the bottom of the description. After this video attaches to the channel after the line is over, then that's when you can go and get the links. <coughs> um, I also have uh, for my Facebook Tupperware group that you can join, and I do live Tupperware parties, <coughs> and um, I play games on there and do a live recipe demonstration. We talk about products, so you can join that too. Have we been getting some snow? Uh, we are in a. I just watched a little bit of the weather. On my laptop. We are in a called a vortex. Arctic freeze. It's supposed to start tonight, so I don't know what we're going to get. A lot of um states are getting hit, but going to be hit with this. Three hundred and fifty degrees preheated. She says back at 45 minutes or longer if you want it extra brown and crispy around the edges. Oh, she said cover it with a little foil. I forgot. I forgot. I see I was rushing. Genetically modified soy products absolutely cause inflammation. Okay. Um so cover it with aluminum foil. And then for 45 minutes, and then get the, and then I guess if it's not brown enough for you, take off the foil and pop it in for maybe 10 minutes to 20 minutes longer. I love the non-stick foil. I like how it don't stick and stuff. I like to even line my cookie sheets because it's easier to clean up on me. So, okay, into the oven it goes. And what we're going to have tonight with this is my roasted Brussels sprouts, 30, and I already have a video on them and mashed potatoes. So, let me put my timer. For 45 minutes. And I'll check back to you after that. Come on back in about 45 minutes for live number two. Yeah, the part number two. To check out this meatloaf. This is the first time ever that we've made it, that Sarah's made this. The vegetarian loaf. So, we'll see how it turns out together. Cross your fingers. Hopefully it turns out good.